Sandman Stories presents The Alphabet of Birds Copyright 1885 by McLaughlin Brothers, New York Big shout out to University of Florida's Baldwin Library of Historical Children's Literature That is where I got this book And it is just a simple ABC of some birds Okay, let's begin The Alphabet of Birds A The albatross is a large bird. It flies for days without rest, following ships in the southern seas to get food. Thus, it may be caught with a hook. B. The bellbird is white, as large as a pigeon, and lives in South America. As it sounds its call like a church bell, its horn stands erect. C. The canary named from the Canary Islands, whence it was brought, is often green, but generally yellow. Of all birds, it sings most sweetly. D. The duck lives about the water and dives to the bottom for food. Its oily feathers do not get wet. Its feet are webbed for swimming. E. The egret lives in American swamps. For food, it catches mice, frogs, and fish. Its body feathers are white, while its train is cream-colored. F. The falcon has its home in Europe and Asia. It is fond of lizards, snakes, and birds. Thus, it has been trained by men to hunt game birds. G. The grosbeck is naturally red, but fades in color when it's shut in a cage. It is kind to other birds, often adopting and rearing their young. H. The hen is the most useful of fowls. She lays eggs which we eat and scratches the soft earth for worms to feed her brood of chickens. I. J. The J is about the size of a pigeon and blue in color. When tame, it learns to talk. Often it cries like a hawk to frighten little birds. K. The kingfisher lives about streams and lakes. It sits upon a branch or log and darts upon the fish in the water. It has a loud, harsh cry. L. The lyre bird is named for its tail, which is often 10 feet long. Its home is in Australia. Its voice is loud, but not disagreeable. M. The macaw is a large bird, fond of long flights. It is very gaily colored, like all South American birds. It feeds upon palm fruit. N. The nightingale lives in England and is famous the world over for its song. Its peculiarity is that it sings in the night when flying. O. The ostrich is the largest bird known. It is raised for its long curly plumes, which are dyed of every color and used to trim ladies' hats. P. The paradise bird is named from the splendor of its plumage. It is the most gorgeous of the feathered tribe living in the East Indies. Q. The quail is found in Europe and America and is prized as a game bird. In spring and summer, It makes a clear musical whistle. R. The robin is seen any summer's day feeding on our lawn. He is friendly to men and should not be frightened or hurt to drive him away. S. The spoonbill is nearly purely white. Its bill is long and broad, whence its name. It wades in the water to catch fish for food. T. The tailor bird is noted for its peculiar nest, which is made of one or two leaves sewed as to form a bag. It uses its bill for a needle. U. V. The vulture is ten feet across its wings. It feeds on the bodies of dead animals. W. The woodcock is much sought by the sportsmen of England and America. It catches worms by running its long bill into the soft ground. X. 
the Xanthornis, or bobolink, varies much in color according to age. Its nest is made from long grasses woven into a purse-like form. Why? The yellowhammer is an English bird different from our own. Its sad cry causes it to be feared and hated by many people. Z. The ozel is often hunted with falcons and is said to afford fine sport as, by its quick motions, it is able to lead the hawk a long chase. The end.